Hey guys, uh, so today is April 16th, it's Thursday. Um, I was reviewing my uh, videos and it looks like I might have possibly made an error, but um, I did not post anything for yesterday that I am aware of. But uh, anyway, so today I wanted to post your quiz. You're going to be taking your quiz number 28 today and I want to take some time and go over that and then you need to complete that today for your assignment and get that turned back into me. So here is your quiz and we reviewed this the other day, okay, but um, I want to take some time and just walk you through this here so that we're um, aware of what we need to do. First of all, when you submit your uh, assignment, make sure that you put quiz number 28 on there and make sure your name is on there, please, um, so that um, I can easily see whose is whose, okay? Um, the first three is completing the square. Remember, when we complete the square, we take this linear term here, this middle term, we multiply it by one half, and then we square that answer. And that squared answer um, is your uh, third term in your trinomial, okay? So we take this. Uh, the second term, we multiply it by one half, and then we square it, and that's a third term. So that is how we complete the square here. For factoring each square, uh, or each completed square, what we're going to do is we're going to take this trinomial and we're going to factor it. And it'll factor down uh, into, I believe, all of them will factor down into perfect squares, okay? Meaning you're going to have um, just x plus or minus a number, and then that binomial is squared, okay? So I'm pretty sure that's how all of these will factor down. Um, so we're just taking these binomials and factoring them. We're not solving for x. We're not doing anything like that. We're just factoring these down into um, perfect squared binomials, okay? So um, when we're going through here, do not take it the step further to solve. Just simply... Um, find your factor for this, okay? So in other words, I take this and what times what equals 36. I know that 6 times 6 equals 36. So my factor is x uh, minus 6, and that binomial will be squared, okay? Um, so you're just factoring here. Now on 8 and 9, when we go through these, okay, you will need to solve for x, okay? So don't leave it at just your factoring, okay? Take that factoring and break it down and solve for x, okay? Now, on both of these, okay, you will need to solve for both the plus and uh, the, the minus, okay? Um, so don't stop at x um, plus or minus uh, a number, okay? You have to solve for it. In other words, if I have... Okay, and this is just, I'm just throwing this out here, um, actually. Okay, uh, if I have, um, oh, let's see, I factor this, okay, um, and I get, um, I've extracted the root. Why is my pen not working? Okay, I've extracted the root, so I have x, let's say, plus 4 equals plus or minus 2. Okay, now this is not the answer here for this. I'm just throwing this out here so you can see what I mean. All right, I have to move my 4 over, so it would be x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2. That means I need to solve for both the plus and the minus. So I would be x equals negative 4 plus 2, and then also x equals negative 4 minus 2. And I would need to solve both of these so I get two answers for x, okay? So when you come to here, make sure that you're you're solving for both the plus and the minus to get your two x answers, okay? And then when you're done with that, make sure that you um, make that, uh, make your answers clear. In other words, circle them uh, or do whatever you need to do to indicate that that is your answer, okay? Um, so as you're going through here, make sure that you're actually solving for the x, okay? Um, in both the plus and the minus. In both of these, you will need two answers. x equals this and x equals this, okay? One for the plus, one for the minus, all right? So make sure that you're having two answers there. And then here is your extra credit section. 
Um, listen, if you're asking me for extra credit, don't ask me for extra credit unless you're going to do the extra credit that's on the quiz, okay? Um, if you're concerned about where your grade is, make sure you're doing the extra credit that I'm giving you, okay? Don't skip this section and then come back to me and say, Miss Nancy, can I do some extra credit work? Well, I'm giving you extra credit work right here, so make sure that you get this done. Even if you're not sure, guys, take a guess on it, okay? It's better to guess and get some of them right and some of them wrong than to not do them at all and get them all wrong, okay? Um, so take some time, do your extra credit, all I need is the number and your letter answer, okay? So when you're handing these out, make sure you're on your notes, you're putting extra credit, and then number one would be letter whatever, number two would be letter whatever, and so on and so forth, okay? You don't have to write all of this out, um, but uh, give me, fill, fill this out, okay? Um, don't skip that section. All right, so this is your quiz for today. I want you to take this. Today is Thursday, the 16th. I want you to take some time and fill out this quiz. Um, if you have any questions, ask me about it, okay? Don't just assume you know. Um, ask, uh, Reach out to me. Shoot me a text. Give me a call. Ask your questions, but get this test done or this quiz done today, okay? So you've got three completing the square, you've got four just factoring, and then you've got two that you actually have to solve for x, okay, um, by completing the square. And then uh, fill out your extra credits um, and get that to me by the end of the day today, okay? Uh, so that's your work for today, April 16th. This is Thursday. Make sure you get your test or your quiz notes or your quiz answers submitted to me by the end of the day. Okay, uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, I will talk to you guys later.